Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about running Open Speed Test Server on a Mac. So many of us are familiar with speed tests on the web. So you can go to websites, you can do it on Google or speedtest.net, and you can check your internet access speed. Well, Open Speed Test allows you to have that same functionality on your local LAN. So if you're having trouble streaming video, for instance, you could run an internet speed test, but there's a possibility you have a problem with your Wi-Fi. So by using Open Speed Test, you could test portions of your network to see if you have any bottlenecks there. So I've done some previous videos running this on a QNAP NAS and a Synology NAS. In this video, I'm going to be running the server on a Mac. So this is an example I have on my screen here of the one that's running on my Synology NAS. So I can hit start here, and this will run the test connecting my Mac to the NAS to measure the speed between the two devices. So we're not gonna finish this test though. We're going to skip over to openspeedtest.com. So if you go to this website, openspeedtest.com, you can hit downloads here. And I'll scroll down quite a ways towards the bottom. And you want to click on download speed test server for Mac OS. I'll click on that. It will download to my downloads folder. So while this is downloading, let me talk about a couple things you might want to do on your Mac as you're getting this up and running. So it's probably a good idea to close your applications. So I don't have any applications open right now. You can hit command tab and that will show you what's open. I have QuickTime open because I'm recording the screen and Safari because I'm downloading the software. Another thing to check is Time Machine if you're using that. So I'll click on Time Machine. If this was doing a backup, I'd probably want to skip the backup or wait till it's finished. You would probably also not want to use this software if you're doing system updates or application updates. So I have this downloaded. I'll open it up in the Finder. I'll double click on the zip file. And here we have OpenSpeedTest-Server. So I'll double click on this. So we got a message here that says open speed test server cannot be open because the developer cannot be verified. So I'll hit cancel here. So I got that warning, but I still want to run the software and each person has to determine for themselves if this is safe enough to run on their system. So I'll go to system preferences. I'll go to security and privacy. I'll click on the little lock in the lower left hand corner. I'll type my password in. And it will show the last thing we tried to open here, and I'll hit open anyway. If it doesn't show up there, you can double click it in the downloads folder again. So I'll hit open here. I'll close this out. And actually, I can just close Safari too. So now we have Open Speed Test Server running on this computer. I can copy this URL, so I'll just select it. I hit Command C to copy, or you could go to the edit menu and say copy. Actually, I'll open my web browser back up. And I'll enter this URL here. So I can run the test on this machine. So it's testing from itself to itself. And you can see running from itself to itself, it doesn't always get up to gigabit speed. So if you want to run this on your computer, it's probably best to run this on a computer that has an ethernet connection. So I'm using this on my 2012 MacBook Pro. If you have a newer Mac, you can get an adapter to hook it up to Ethernet. That way, when you're doing a Wi-Fi test, you're not testing the Wi-Fi on the device that you think might have a Wi-Fi problem, which could be an iPad, and the Wi-Fi of the laptop at the same time. It isolates the two. So you want your device running open speed test to have a hardwired connection. Okay, so that worked. So now what I'll do is I'll get on my iPad and run the same test. Now you want to enter that URL on your other device. So in my case, it's an iPad, but it could be a TV, an iPhone, an Android phone, Windows computer, Mac, PC, Linux, you name it. Anything that has a web browser that's modern, you could probably run this. So I could type that into my iPad, but I can actually go to my Mac and select that and copy it. And then I can go on my iPad and paste it on here. I'll hit go. It will open up the speed test software. I'll hit start and it will run the test. So this is an iPad Pro. It's the original iPad Pro, so it doesn't have the fastest networking on it. So we're getting a, over 550 megabits per second download. I think the newer ones would probably have faster speed than that. And then our upload is just under 500 megabits per second. And the router I'm connecting to is a Wi-Fi 6 router. This doesn't have Wi-Fi 6 on this iPad, but it's a very fast router when you have modern equipment connected to it. So there we go, we ran the two tests. We got 570 megabits per second download and 482 megabits per second upload. So now if you want to run it again, you just hit refresh on the browser and that will open it up again. So how you might use this is if you're having Wi-Fi speed issues in your home, you could take your tablet or your phone around your house and do speed tests in different areas and see if it's faster or slower in different areas and then maybe add a Wi-Fi extender or set up a mesh network or something to cover those areas better. So if you're having trouble streaming video to your tablet, 
Running the speed test can tell you if the problem is on your LAN or if it's on the internet. If your speed test with open speed test shows you have a slow Wi-Fi connection, then that's something you need to remedy. If it shows it has a fast connection, then it's likely your internet connection that's slowing you down. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.